everybody. Hi, everyone. Mr. and Mrs. Traveler here. It's still cosplaying with a fun video today. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for tuning in. Hey, if you would be so kind, if you like getting informational videos, you like the tours, you like the tips, you like the news that we put out, please make sure that you take a minute to subscribe to the channel, hit that like button, and make sure you hit that bell so you know when you get notified when we upload video or go live. We really do appreciate you. And if you're ready to set sail on one of these beautiful vessels, we are currently on the MSC Seashore. Give us a call, 877-697-4470, or we can be reached at www.mr-traveler.com. Yes, indeedy. All right, everybody. So today we're going to talk about some things uh, that you can do in your cruise to elevate the experience. Maybe you need some things mm -hmm. and uh, we just want to educate you on some things that you can get on most cruise lines. Now, this is a L Cause Glam, Mrs. Mm -hmm. Slants, Mr. Traveler research video. So I'm going to let her take control of this, but we want to make sure that you have the most enjoyable time on your trip. And make sure that you get the most out of it. So as she goes through the list, I gotta let her go through the list and I will put my two cents in every now and then. Well, I couldn't enjoy it without the love of my life. Oh, and he be right by my side when I'm on these cruises asking I my like stewardess for these <laughs> things. <laughs> all right, so let's go. First of all, I want to give a shout out to all the crew who made our stay so comfortable actually twice on this trip. Uh shout out to the, our room stewards. Hi. Uh huh. Uh, <laughs> welcome okay. on board. Stewardess, as well as the food, hospitality, hotel, shows, everything, <laughs> entertainment. Uh, I'm probably forgetting the department, but we're going to concentrate on the room steward this time. Mm -hmm. And there's things that you can actually ask guest services for and the room stewardess that you probably didn't know. Yeah. Now, keep in mind, this is on... Uh, a majority of the cruise lines. You may yes. not find this on every single one, mm -hmm. but don't hesitate to ask because right. you never know unless you ask. There's people with some handicaps, some disabilities, some needs that they need, as well as creature comforts for home. So me, I like to have certain things on a cruise and maybe you didn't know, after almost 80 cruises, I pretty much got it down to a science of what I need. As soon as I get on board, I know what to ask for. All right, so let's hit your list. Okay, let's go. Okay, let's go. The first thing that you want to ask for, if you have that grandmother, grandfather who are medicated, they just got the hospital, they need some meds, you can actually ask for a fridge for meds. You can have a fridge sent to your room on some cruise lines and they'll put it in, you know, let's say you got insulin, diabetic needs, um, heart medicine that has to be refrigerated, um, CPAP things, water distilled. You can ask for a refrigerator. If they don't have a refrigerator sent to the room they have a refrigerator on board and did you know you can put things in it yes it did yeah and sometimes they can even give you a cooler packed with ice that's right um yeah so keep in mind that's for cooling the medicines that need to be cooled but as miss traveler was saying they can also provide extension cords for cpap machine mm -hmm. distilled water um if you need that as well so yes um don't hesitate to ask if you've got a medical need the cruise lines are really great at accommodating medical needs. that's right and not to say i used to work in trauma surgery i still give my you know pledge to to help out whenever i need to but ten, i did 10 years in trauma surgery so i wanted to start there all right what's next okay the next one is earplugs have you ever been on a cruise and it's so loud <laughs> like the speakers was on the ship <laughs> me and mr traveler <laughs> We were sitting in the room and all of a sudden the speakers went off. We were oh like, oh my, my God. God. <laughs> yeah, it's like the room speaker was extra loud. And I was in the closet where the speaker is literally like six inches from my ear. <laughs> it shocked Mr. Traveler. He was like, oh my God. <laughs> they did this ship uh, blast, the emergency signal. Yeah. Yes, and so sometimes you need some earplugs, and especially for our elderly clients and customers and sellers, um, they don't really like too much noise, so you can actually ask for some earplugs, okay. especially if you're near the pool and the music is too loud. All right, good to know. Hopefully okay. you don't need those, though. <laughs> the next thing is a heating pad. Um, okay. You ever went on a horseback riding trip or hiking and you had sore muscles? Yes, you can ask for a heating pad. They have them. Okay, that's good to know. Yeah, and you can, if you get bored and you're with the family and you're trying to find some games, you can ask for a deck of cards. Is that right? You can. Oh, that's... Uno or spades. 
so you can get your own little hustle game going on in the lobby outside of the casino. No gambling outside the casino. Please, we don't, you know, we don't promote that. Okay, and the next thing you want to do, if you get drowsy or you on one of these big giant ships like we love to ride, you know, we get to come out with the newest uh, content for you, so we have to ride these big giant ships. And we don't really feel waves, but on the small ships you do, like the Magnifica, I felt a little bit of waves on there because it was smaller. You can ask for some seasickness pills. Yep. If you forget to bring your own. I think they might give you some to get by, but then you probably have to go to the store and buy the rest because I don't yep. know how many how many of those they're going to give out for free. But, uh, you know, they don't want you to be sick. So, mm -hmm. uh, tip here is if you know you have any inclination to seasickness is mm -hmm. to put that patch or take the pill, whatever you're going to do, yep. before you even set foot on the cruise ship. Yes, Dramamine, um, the patch that goes on your arm. Some people have smelling salts. Some people have the magnetic bands that go around their wrists. You want to make sure you bring those. Don't forget those when you come on a, on a cruise because it's almost like flying in the airplane. Same thing to me, but it's not as bad. Okay, what you got next? For our first time cruisers. Okay, the next one, um, if your bed is too firm, you have some back problems, you know, we're getting up there in age, you know, um, you can ask for a pillow topper or a mattress pad to go over your, if it's available, it, you know, mm -hmm. because there's like thousands of people on the ship, so they may not be available all the time, but did you know you can ask for a pillow topper to go on top of your mattress? Yeah, absolutely, but you make sure you that you request it right away. Uh, we did take advantage of that on this particular cruise, so yeah. thank you very much. Thank you. But, as Ms. Travis said, they are limited supply, so you want to make sure that you ask for that right away. That's right. And also, if you get hot like me and have hot flashes, ladies, you know we middle age now, honey. We getting up there. You can ask for a fan. Okay. They have fans that they can loan you. Not have, but because if you take it home, they're going to charge you for it. But they have like little mini fans that you can actually borrow for the cruise, and it comes in handy, especially us girls with the hot flashes, especially when we're doing our makeup and they get a little... Oh, you don't need that because I'm your biggest fan. Oh. Watch out, man. Watch out. I think I had to cut the video because I'm ready. I'm ready for that. <laughs> okay, and the next one. Um, if, have, ladies, have you ever been out on formal night and you broke a heel? <laughs> or you broke a strap on your strap shoes, you know, your Valentinos, your Jimmy shoes, your uh, red bottoms? They can fix your shoe on board. Yes, they have a shoe cobbler. Okay. You can go to guest services and they will definitely fix your shoe for you if they're available. Did you know that you can have your soles repaired or your heels repaired? Yes, you can. I would imagine it'd probably be on more of the luxury lines. Me too. Than... It's on here. I checked. No. <laughs> it's well, at guest services. Well, I learned something new. Yes, on MSC, <laughs> they do fix your heels. Okay. <laughs> Um, yeah. You can actually ask for a wake-up call from your room steward or guest services. If you're trying to, you know, get to your excursion early or you want to meet with, you know, your family early, you can ask them to give you a wake-up call, especially if you forgot your, you know, your alarm clock and you want to be up on time, you don't want to miss anything, ask for a wake-up call. Yeah, we've done that a couple of times. Okay. Especially helpful if you're overseas or there's a ship change, a ship time change. Mm -hmm and things like that and you're just you know we've been on the cruise before where the clock in the room said one thing and the clock on the phone said a different thing yeah. and so if you're confused on it you don't want to miss have them wake you up okay and we roll virgin whereas it's so hip they don't even have directions on the ship you know it's this color coded where you have to find where you got to go you know mm -hmm. and virgin is like real trendy you can ask for a paper map of the ship on any ship and they'll show you, you know, directions of where you need to go. Because some of these cruise ships, they get so trendy. You know, you'd be like, oh, my God, I feel like I'm so yeah. I'm so old now. Yeah, Virgin, they especially. It took, it took us a couple of days to figure well, out how they have they going. <laughs> yeah, they do letters and colors versus um, if you can come on MSC or Royal Caribbean or Carnival, they can give you a paper map of the ship. And that way, you know, you can see where everything is. All right, what else you got? Okay, the next thing I got is um, if you're not happy with the room and there's a bunch of, I'm going to say, bad kids, you know, <laughs> because we've experienced that. We're going to talk about that on the pros and cons, <laughs> where the family just goes, have a good time, the adults, and they have the kids in one room all together, about four or five of them. You can ask for a room change if it's available. 
Did you know that? They want the main thing the cruise line is wants to do is make sure you're comfortable and happy. If you're not happy with your room, maybe there's a leak in it, there's some issues with the bathroom, the toilet not flushing, the shower not working, the floor soaking wet from a leak or something, you can ask for a room change. Yeah, we've done it a few times now. Like I said, it depends on whether or not the, the ship is sold out or not. That's kind of a big deal. Um, and sometimes, if it's a really a thing where you need to move, you may get downgraded mm -hmm. uh, from where you're at. But we have done this a few times. Once we had, we've never been downgraded to obstructed or anything. No, no, we've gotten the same category. But I mean, a couple times, a couple of examples for us, we had a issue on one ship where the toilet plugged up like three times. Mm -hmm. uh, we had another issue on the ship where we had an aft view facing balcony, and the smoke from the chimney just sucked into the. Mm -hmm. into the cabin it was it like was choking smoking. us it was smoking so, in our room uh that's a couple of examples of times that we we moved yeah and if you like anything like me i had so much fun at key west until i dropped my phone in the ocean <laughs> <laughs> everybody saw that on my social media thank you and if you follow us on social media you can follow mr traveler on mr traveler cruise lovers mr traveler facebook or instagram and me on l cause glam instagram i love it i love my fashion on there why did I drop my phone in the ocean in Key West? I was so upset, but then I thought about it. I said, you know what? I'm gonna enjoy the rest of my vacation. I'm not gonna let it get to me. Thank God for insurance. Mr. Traveler put insurance on our phones and the next day it was shipped. So that was not a problem. But make sure you ask for a rice bag for your phone if you drop it in this beautiful ocean that's behind us. Right, and you're able to retrieve it. <laughs> yes, whether it be a watch, an iPad, an iPhone watch. I think they have phones uh, on their watches and um the and just regular phones you can put it in the so rice you and get a bag of rice and suck the moisture out of there yeah. fun fact though i mean a lot of these phones now are getting pretty water resistant fun fact i had the iphone i got the 14 now so i must have been the 13 mm -hmm. and we were on one of the carnival ships and i got into the pool and i'm just sitting there and having conversations with people probably mm -hmm. for about 15 minutes and and i put my hand down in the water and I felt my pocket and my phone was in my pocket. Yeah, so he was sitting in the water. And I was just like, oh no. I eased out of the pool. I didn't want to tell her, but I was like, oh God. I blew it. So I got out of the, I got out of the pool and I pulled out my pocket. It, it was water resistant and nothing wow. happened to it. Wow, so that's great. That's a shout out to iPhone. Shout right? out to the iPhone team. Y'all know what y'all <laughs> doing. And the next thing you want to do is you want to make sure you ask about a squeaky door. Now we have a squeaky cabinet in our room where I just had to muscle it to open it. But sometimes your door is so squeaky, it could wake up whoever you in a bed with, you know, your partner, whoever you sleeping with is noisy. You know, you can ask them to please put some oil on the squeaky door. Put some WD-40 on there. And really that goes for any kind of maintenance request in your cabin. So if you see something, is broken or not functioning the way that it's supposed to properly, mm -hmm. just have them call the uh, maintenance staff and they'll fix it. And I don't know about you, but I like to bring my clothes. Mr. Traveler is real good at this. He always bring more hangers, but you can ask your yep. room steward for more hangers and they can bring them up with no problem. Again, I would say do this early because, I yeah. mean, I don't know, this is just my suspicion mm -hmm. is that they just go into other cabins and take a couple of hangers I from here and there. that's exactly what they do. <laughs> so, just like, here you go. They get them out of another room like here so, <laughs> and try to get it out the way. If you need them to bring them early, personally, I usually throw about five or six of our lightweight hangers mm -hmm. into our suitcase um, just so that I have them. And on some ships, there are washing machines and dryers. There are laundry rooms. You can actually ask for a pack of laundry detergent. Or you can bring your own, but sometimes they have them on the wall as a vending machine where mm -hmm. you can just go ahead and put like a quarter in there or, you know, 50 cents. I don't know how much it costs nowadays. A couple right? dollars, couple probably. A oh, couple <laughs> dollars. <laughs> but you can ask for a laundry pack if they have them available. Okay. And the last thing you want to ask for, me and Mr. Traveler do, did this last night at we Chops. We do this all the time. We did it at the restaurant. We do it all the time. Please give me a paper menu. Yeah, Thank I'm, you. I do not like using my phone at dinner. I'm, I'm gonna tell I don't you, like the scan. I'm going to tell you something. If we weren't doing this for a living, the phone probably wouldn't even get turned on. No. Um, I like love the days of cruising when we left the port and the phone didn't work. 
it was like totally getting away from everything. Agreed. And then slowly but surely the Wi-Fi started getting better and things like that. Now you got people just sitting around on their phones the whole time during the, the cruise. Whole time. And it's just, we look around the dining room like, wow, everybody on their phone. Like, and I and I don't want to use my phone to scan the menu. I want to feel I you know I, I paid to be here. I want to feel like I, I feel like I'm at a nice restaurant. I want to get a menu like you do at a nice restaurant. You have all year to be on your phone. You only have so many moments to enjoy your family in this special time where you could just unplug, you know. And you want to take that time off social media off whatever you're doing at home because you really on a vacation yep. you have to download your brain download your body reset and you can't do that on vacation if you ask me i just don't like to be on the phone when i'm on vacation so please give me a paper menu i don't want to scan they, i they, don't want to bring my phone they to do they do look at me kind of crazy they do. because i bring i bring the phone to film the food so they'll say yeah. a couple of times they've gotten snippy with me and say sir use your phone to scan the menu they don't know we're working you know, we and, never say, and uh, so I, bloggers. so I know it looks a little crazy, but yeah. I'm like, no, no, I, I want a paper menu. I'll, yeah. I'll wait for you to go get one. So. We hope you enjoyed these 20 things that you can ask your room steward or guest services for. And we would love to know what did we miss? So go ahead and comment below and let us know. We also gonna put this question out on our Facebook on Mr. Traveler Cruise Lovers, where we can continue the conversation over there. All right. Well, thank you so much. That was a fun little video. Yeah, we'll come back with more. We got a lot of first-time cruiser videos coming up to help you pick whichever cruise you like, what's fitting for you, and what you need when you go on, on a cruise because we've been on 80, honey. All right. Life short. Have fun. See the world. Bye, everyone. Bye, guys.